Hey, what's up with my chicken? Y'all good over here? Hey girl, how you doing over here? You good? You you just chilling out? You, you sunbathing? Uh, uh, okay, I'll just give you a little bit more time. You chilling? Hey girl, you chilling? Got your legs out? Chilling in the sun? Ooh. Team Touche! And I'm back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Team Touche. So we're in the kitchen today, so let's just get started. I'm filming off my phone today because uh, I just feel like it'll be easier for me to go faster than on my camera with the tripod and all that good stuff. So, have some frozen chicken tender breasts. This is the brand that I use. This me is whatever brand you like. So I just separated mm, five pieces. I think that should be good. It's three of us eating. I'm going to defrost this in the sink with cold water for probably about like 20 minutes and then refresh it with new cold water. And I'll see y'all with these bad boys. <laughs> that one is like trying to push this in here. I see when these bad boys are thawed out. I cooked last night. So I actually have to knock out these dishes real quick. Um, I made a chicken pot roast with some garlic mashed potatoes. I'm so mad I didn't film that. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, let me show you guys my leftovers. Hold on. This is such a ratchet video. I'm sorry. All right. So we have the chicken pot roast. So it's chicken with carrots and a yummy like broth that I had made. Spicy a little bit. And then my garlic mash with a whole bunch of butter in that bad boy. Then I sprinkle a little parsley on the top, you know, plating wise and stuff like that. I'll show you guys how the plate looked last night. Comment below if you guys would like to see this recipe. So I made the chicken pot roast in my Instant Pot, which is my best friend in the kitchen. Love the Instant Pot. Fast, quick cooking, on the go if you're busy doing laundry, cleaning up the house, or just don't feel like standing in the kitchen. Forgot, I didn't tell you guys what I'm making, so, or what we're making. We are making waffles and popcorn chicken. Hard to get these on with nails. I got used to kind of not having nails. That was horrible. I cannot cook in a dirty kitchen. That's out. real quick I still have my bed head because I didn't want to do too much you know so it's been about 20 minutes the chicken is pretty much ready to go um it's still a little frozen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the water because it's really cold and I will get the batter ready to go for the waffles I'll show you guys what mix I use you could for sure do this from scratch if you want, but it doesn't make a difference because I still add to it. So I'm going to make French toast. I can't make French toast banana pancakes because I don't have any um, fresh banana, but it's cool. If you guys want, add banana, just smush it up, like mash it up really good with a fork and add it into your waffle mix or your pancake mix and it's fire, trust me, try it. You could use this for either pancakes or waffles. I used to not like pancakes, that's why I added bananas in them and that makes me love them. Waffles, love to death. Love waffles and um, French toast so much. So what we're gonna add is sugar, optional, and 
We're gonna do cinnamon sugar. And then I also have my Walmart brand ground cinnamon. Let's get to it. So I put water in my bowl. Now I'm just gonna whisk it all in. Yeah, I think I do need a little bit more mix. I'm gonna show you guys how I like the consistency. Oop, oop, oop. I hate this part. <sighs> so messy. Now I'm gonna add some more water. Whisk it in. If you have little chunks, that's okay, but I like to try to get as much as I can out. Mm. That's a good texture. I like to clean as I go, because I hate having to clean this pancake mix up later, because it is so freaking hard to clean up. So here's our batter. Now I'm going to add in some sugar. Like I said, this is completely optional. I opened this so dumb before. I'm supposed to push it right there, but I didn't. I just opened it like a mad woman. <laughs> All right. I like them kind of sweet, so don't judge me. Mix that in. Here's cinnamon. It's not as easy as you think this with one hand don't look at my feet guys <laughs> the chicken should almost be done over there cinnamon optional but i really like a lot of cinnamon i told you guys i'm making it like french toast so literally i just made my own cinnamon sugar obviously i just added that in here but i still like this because it's ready to go um already mixed equally perfect so I'm just gonna put just a little bit more of that when I run out of this I always just refill it with my own so that's really why I like that okay so now I'm gonna get all of my ingredients out for the popcorn chicken this is optional however I love using cornstarch for frying because it makes it so much crispier, so much flakier than just regular flour. But I do still add flour. I do a little mix of cornstarch and flour. So you guys will see how I do that. Our chicken is defrosted. Get your cutting board and let's cut our chicken. This is my favorite knife to, my favorite knife to cut meat with. I'm gonna rinse my chicken now in cold water and then I'm gonna cut it up. So my hands are gonna get all nasty and stuff and I don't wanna touch my phone. You guys obviously know how to cut chicken. So let's cut our chicken into nice little chunks, like however big you guys want for your popcorn chicken. Let's get to it. We got our chicken all cut up into the size that I like. So some nice little cubes. I rinsed the chicken off, I didn't dry it. Seasonings over here, you can use whatever seasonings you like. I like to use a little bit of everything as you see. So I have Old Bay seasoning, onion powder, cayenne pepper, Lowry seasoning salt, some fresh black pepper, little lemon pepper seasoning, some garlic salt, let's get to it. Make sure you push this all the way down because sometimes it'll open up and oof, all your seasoning will come out. Also hard to come up from that side, so be careful when you open up this side it comes out big, but so. I'm missing garlic powder. I'm a little upset about that, but we had our garlic salt, so. Time to now mix in our chicken. Now we have our cornstarch. Just gonna pour it all right into the bowl. You wanna have a nice amount so it could all be nicely coated. And you also want to season this part so that it has a good flavor on the crust. Boom. Now you mix it all in. 
Make sure that all your chicken is nicely coated on all sides. You need to add more cornstarch, add more. Now, I'm gonna get dirty. I gotta make sure my hand is dry though. My hands are clean, let's get to work. So now get your stove on medium high heat. Get about two cups, mm, about a cup and a half of oil. Let's get that oil nice and hot and let's dump these popcorn chicken pieces in the hot oil. I'll see you in a minute. Got my vegetable oil, my chicken, medium high heat. I have now put my waffle mix in a measuring cup so I can have an easy pour. Heating up the waffle maker. Love cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray to make waffles, Good luck. Oil almost hot. It's almost ready to go. These chicken pieces are ready to go. Let's see. Oh, I, oh, what y'all think? Oh, I think it's ready. Okay, let's put one piece in. Let's see. There we go. You don't want to overcrowd it in here. Shake off the oil. I mean, I said the oil. The cornstarch. I was gonna put some flour in here, but I forgot and I just thought about it and it's cool. Then put these on here for about two, three minutes. Set a timer. We're gonna come over here. This is hot and ready. Shake up your cooking spray. Parsley seeding. So I'm just gonna spray on the top and the bottom of the waffle maker. This should be enough. Let's see. It's always the first one that I'm always like, uh, should I put more? Is that enough? I got it to like the middle. Chicken is over here, going up. Minute and a half left. Going to get my setup to drain my chicken. I have these takeout containers, because like I told you guys, I sell plates. So what I do is, oh, get your paper towel, line that up. Now I'm gonna check on the waffles. Ooh, looking good. So next time we're gonna put a little bit more batter. I always like to play with it because you know I hate when it gets all messy and it starts pouring over on the sides and stuff. Like I said, pancake waffle mix is so freaking hard to clean up later. So it's been three minutes. Let's see if it's time to flip. All right, let's flip, let's see. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. On this side, maybe let's do four minutes to see how it's looking. Before we did three. Okay, this one's stubborn and doesn't want to turn over. There we go. I like it extra crispy. Let's set a four minute timer. Let's see how this is looking over here. Ready to go, yes. First waffle is all done. So this is the top, the bottom. What do you guys think? Comment below. So we're gonna do just one more minute on these. The reason why I say that is because you guys see how this breading looks right here. It's not all the way done. I like it to be nice and crispy. Well done. So that was our four minute timer that's just now going off. It's looking so pretty over here. Hey girl, how you doing? Hey. Oh, hey, what's up with my chicken? Y'all good over here? Hey girl, how you doing over here? You good? You chilling? Hey girl, you chilling? Got your legs out? Chilling in the sun? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, you guys see that breading? Okay. Ooh! Yeah, you guys know. Did you make that sound? Ooh! Yeah. You guys basically get, you know, what's going on. So just repeat these steps. Doom. Boom. 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 So you see this thickness is just a little bit more, you know, boom. Okay, guys, this is the trick parchment paper, get your cookie sheet, 
This is a trick to keeping them nice and warm and crispy. We're gonna put these in the oven at 250. One more trick before I wrap up today's video. So I have my spray. Just gonna spray that a little bit. Then boom, top it off with your seasoning, whatever kind you like. And that's how we're gonna do it. Let's try a piece. Mmm. That's fire. What kind of hot sauce do you guys like? This is my favorite. It's gonna be so good. Mm, mm, mm. If you guys followed all my steps, you'll be very happy. Very, very happy. I decided I was gonna wrap up the video actually after everything's done cooking. You guys know I like montages and plating and all that good stuff. So I'll let you guys see it, don't worry. Hey guys, it's the last waffle and look how perfect it is! Girl, she looking nice and thick. This one came out perfect. Mmm, look at the thickness. Now let's see. Oh yeah, this is nice. You just leave them in there just for a little bit just to get nice and crispy. Yes. I wanted to show you guys how I literally did not make a mess today. Yes. So freaking happy. So I just did a quick little wipe down with my napkin and it is just like new. So everything is now ready. So now our waffles are all done. I took them out the oven. So like I told you, the trick to keep them nice and crispy and warm while you're still cooking is putting them in the oven. So now I'm gonna put a little powdered sugar. I don't have a sifter, so you guys could literally use a strainer. Um, you don't have to put too much. You don't have to put it at all, but I like it because it looks pretty. What do you guys think? We have our popcorn chicken with lemon pepper seasoning. That's our final product. So I had crushed some uh, parsley. You guys are just behind the scenes now of my plating and how I do my Instagram pictures. This will also be the thumbnail too. So I just sprinkle a little cinnamon on top. Little cinnamon sugar. Got your syrup. Now I'm gonna heat this up. We have our hot syrup. lemon pepper popcorn chicken, and French toast waffles. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure that you guys hit that like button if you like this recipe or if you guys just like this video. And then also make sure you comment and let me know what you guys would like to see next. Can't wait to eat this bad boy. See you guys in the next video.